Hello and welcome back to an academy. Let's quick meet myself, Dr. Muskan Chaudhary, and today we'll do like use of from the biology topic. Okay, so starting with an academy, an academy is India's largest learning platform where you can assess both and the record. This will be beneficial for students who are working, who are doing the JR shifts, and learn from the India's top any elite use any other competitive examination. And compete in the live team and test competition with a highly competitive quizzes that is going on. Study on the device uh, of your choice from anywhere and everywhere and assess up to 25,000 of the MPs uh, from every topic, high yield topics, and that uh, have the potential for the probable question in the examination. Printed and digital notes will be provided. Icon subscriptions is uh, being given to the students in which the prep letter has. Uh, come together with the academy and integrate with Google lecture banks and rapid snapshots and 20 stream notes with well structured live batch recorded classes, Q banks of 25,000 and comprehensive and printed digital notes for 20 mo four months. It will cost you around uh, it will cost you around 1500. Uh, per month, very cheap and economical compared to other platforms. And for 18 months, it will around 25 per month. And for 36 months, so 1.0 per month. For icon subscription, it will be around 2, 4, 3, and 15,500. Uh, 2 and 18 months, 5 and 6 months, and 8, 5 and 5. So that is. Discount. Is and feature something that is a uh, big and new to everyone because you personalize and make your classes highly interactive and uh, can drive engagement with the and the livers and solve your doubt at the 25,000 high yield MCQ based on the latest exam pattern and that includes a detailed explanation. Special class features include interactive live classes and the polls for the learners respond to the polls for a better understanding of the topic. Raise a hand, talk to your favorite educators in the live. Never miss a class because you will get the notification by pressing the bell icon and lecture will be to anywhere and for 24 months, 4 months. 
and use code that is turn 10 to get 10 percent discount all right so uh we'll do the question that we were left Okay, we'll start with the first question. Okay, uh, um, just a second, if there's some problem. Is M audible now properly? So we'll start. Uh, we'll start with the first question. The Paul Vinyl reaction is. Just a second. The Paul Vinyl reaction is uh, is a type of agglutination reaction or the complementation type of reaction or the precipitation or the flocculation type or the flocculation. We quickly do the question answers because I uh, I want us to cover 40 to 50 questions within one hour session. So we'll just quickly cover the question answers. Please type in the comment box. The fall will reaction is a typo. Easy one. Fall binary reaction is a type of fall binary reaction is a type of vitrophile profile agglutination type of test. Fall is a type of vitrophile agglutination test that we do for which disease? It is for for infectious mononucleosis. We use the sheep's blood RBCs. All right. Now coming to the next question. <coughs> Lymphocytosis with atypical lymphocytes are seen in infection with HSV, HBV, EBV, or RSV. Yeah, easy one lymphocytosis 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 with atypical lymphocytes now it is mainly seen in the infectious mononucleosis where we get atypical lymphocytes more than 10 percent with lymph node enlargement and infectious mononucleosis uh, infectious mononucleosis will come under which disease that is the ebv epstein bar virus epstein ebv is associated with a wide range of disease and one of that is i uh, i am that is infectious mononucleosis now coming to the next one, how EBV virus causes the autoimmunity that it has the molecular mimicry exposure of the sequestered antigens, antigenic rows creates cross reactivity or the polyclonal B activation.
for easy one how abv abv uh, causes a autoimmunity uh, we remember that epstein barr virus some of the important viruses that are associated with that are associated with the super antigens in the bacteria starting with the staph staph streptococcus then yersinia और चौथा अपने पास क्या था माइकोप्लाज्म प्लीज रिमेम्बर इट बाय हार्ट द इन्फेक्शन द सुपर एंटीजेंस एग्जांपल एंड इन वन वाज़ द मेलेसीसी फरफर ठीक है इन द फंगस इन द वायरसेस वी हैड ईबीवी एचआईवी सीएमवी एंड द रेबीज एंड द रेबीज and we read about when we read about the epstein barr virus we uh, we read ki kaise it uh, actually causes the polyclonal b activation that is by directly activating the t cells theek hai and causing the hyper gamma globulinemia causing the polyclonal activation of the b cells now gram a number of viruses and bacteria can induce the polyclonal activation of the b cells gram negative bacteria cmv ebv all known to such polyclonal activator inducing the proliferation of the b cells If B cells reactive to the self antigens, then auto antibodies can appear. So this is the reason for the auto immunity because by directly activating the C T cell, it is causing the polyclonal. Generally, जो भी antibodies बनती है, they are mainly monoclonal. But in the super antigens, polyclonal activation of the B cells and this can cause the auto immunity if they are active against the self cells, self antigens. For instance, during infectious pneumonia, which is caused by the EBV, a variety of autoimmune antibodies, auto antibodies are produced, including the auto antibody reactive to the T cell and the T cell and the B cells. Now, Epstein Barr virus causes all except the nasopharyngeal carcinoma, the Burkitt's lymphoma, the varicose varicose lymphoma, or the Hodgkin's lymphoma. okay so what will be the answer the uh, ebv causes all except ebv causes the hodgkins non hodgkins lymphoma as well so hodgkins lymphoma is two as well as the non hodgkins lymphoma uh, this hairy uh, uh, the hairy cell leukemia nasopharyngeal carcinoma burkitt's lymphoma but not varicose lymphoma this is caused by the human papilloma virus okay that is hp is mainly caused by what hp now Varicose lymphoma is not caused by EBV. EBV can cause the nasopharyngeal carcinoma, Burkitt's, and the Hodgkin's. Now coming to the next question, that is Paul Vinal test. Paul Vinal test is done for what? Uh, HBV, EBV, CMV, or HIV? Okay, so easy one. Paul Bunuel test. Paul Bunuel test is example of what the heterophile heterophile A glutination test. Heterophile A glutination test. This is done for the infectious mononucleosis. That is what associated virus is what E B V. That is Epstein Barr virus. Okay, that is Epstein Barr virus, and we use the she antigen. to detect what to detect what e anti 
antibodies okay, due to the cross reactivity that is present. Now, coming to the next question, coming to the next question that oral hairy leukoplakia is associated with CMV, HIV, EBV, or HPV. So oral hairy leukoplakia is when we read about the association of the EBV virus. I think I am having that slide. We will get to that. Have to go back. जब हमने ई बी भी पढ़ा था वी एक्चुअली हैड अ लिस्ट ऑफ द डिजीजर कवर्ड अ लिस्ट ऑफ द डिजीज दैट मेलियस विद बर्किट लिम्फोम हॉजकिन नॉन हॉजकिन लिम्फोम और हेयर इन यूकर प्ले किया ऑल दो दिस एच आई वी इज ऑल्सो एसोसिएटेड बट वेन वी कंपेयर द रिलेटिव कंपेरिजन इन सिंगल चॉइस आंसर्स ई बी वी इज मेनली एसोसिएटेड विद वॉट औरल हेयरी यूको प्ले किया नाउ कमिंग टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन EBV cause all except the Kaposi sarcoma, infectious monocytosis, Burkitt's or the Duncan's disease. This is easy one. Easy one EBV cause of all except if we remember that Kaposi sarcoma. Kaposi sarcoma is associated with HHA ticket that is a form of herpivirity family subgroup and HHV8 is associated with Kaposi sarcoma. Rest all rest all this Duncan syndrome as well. The Duncan's disease as well that is a X link if you remember X. Lympho proliferative disease is also the EBV association is found. Now coming to the next one, <clears throat> true about the infectious uh, mononucleosis is associated with heterophile antibodies, monocytosis associated with the cold agglutinin associated with CMV infection, and it is a self-limited. It it's a PJ question, so more than one options are correct. So please comment. Which are the correct ones? So true about the infectious mononucleosis. It is associated with heterophile antibodies. Yes, we also do the Paul Brunel test for the same to detect the heterophile antibodies, and that too by using the sheep RBC antigen. That is RBC antigen. Why? Because it is associated with the cold agglutinin. Cold agglutinin means that the 
antigens are reactive and detectable at a temperature below the normal body temperature they are not associated with cmv they are associated with ebv infectious they doesn't cause the monocytosis we see what lymphocytosis and atypical lymphocytes that is more than 10% and it is a self limited disease it is a self limited disease okay? produces a self limited disease and there is production of heterophile antibodies and it causes hemolytic anemia due to production of the cold agglutinins and can cause the infectious monocytosis like syndrome now coming to the next coming to the next fall buccal antibodies are reactive in all except ox sheep dog or horse So, polvinyl antibodies are reactive in all except polvinyl antibodies. They are not reactive with ox cell antigens. Why? Because they are absorbed by them. They are absorbed and there is no reaction. And for the polvinyl test, we need to see the reaction. Other than this, with the are uh, these antigens, the antibodies are reactive and we can see the test, but not with the ox uh, antigens. Okay, so differential fall binary test is done using the guinea pig kidney cells and ox cells. Heterophile antibodies produced in IM are not absorbed by the guinea pig but are absorbed by the ox RBCs. As these heterophile antibodies are absorbed, therefore they are not reactive, therefore removes, therefore infect ox RBCs, removes these antibodies and we don't want the antibodies to be neutralized. We want to detect the antibodies to detect the uh, disease. Okay. Now coming to the next one, coming to the next one, EBV is associated with the carcinoma of the tonsil, nasopharyngeal carcinoma, anal carcinoma, carcinoma of the esophagus and the IM. So it is again a PBI question one. Then one option is correct that EBV associated with So EBV is associated with associated with carcinoma of the tonsil, nasopharyngeal carcinoma, and the infectious non but not the anal carcinoma, the carcinoma, the esophagus. Now, coming to the next one, coming to the next question. The EBV virus causes all the following except IM, measles, nasopharyngeal carcinoma, and the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. 10 seconds only for this because it is easy one. Obviously, it is not causing the measles because it is caused by the paramyxo virus that is the measles virus. Now, coming to the next question. Okay, I have increased my speed. So, no. EBV causes what? EBV causes the post transplant lymphoreticular disease, Timuras disease, or the Kaposi sarcoma or non Hodgkin's. EBV causes Kaposi to Bilkul because it is caused by the HH 
heat it can cause the non hodgkins as well as post transplant lymphoreticular disease now what is kimura's disease kimura's disease kimura's disease it is what kimura's disease is what benign inflammatory disorder benign inflammatory disorder and cause is unknown till now okay the cause is unknown and we see the enlargement of the cervical lymph nodes cervical lymph nodes and person will present with allergic reactions allergic reactions all right so cause is unknown and benign inflammatory disorder with the allergic reactions all right so chimera disease is benign chronic inflammatory disorders and disorder and the symptoms are subdermal regions in the head and neck with inflammation so cervical lymph node cause is still unknown and it is an allergic reactions after the stimulation with any bites of the arthropod or parasite or the candida infection or the candida infection easy one kaput sarcoma is related to the which virus Okay, so it is related to which virus? Uh, it is related to it is related to HHV8. Okay, and mainly found in the people with the HIV and mainly in the homosexual. Okay, we found it mainly in the HIV people and. Homosexuals because it is an opportunistic infection mainly and uh, self limited disease mainly found in the people with the immunocompromised symptoms. Now, coming to the next one, coming to the next one, uh, HHV8, same question, HHVK8 causing the Kaposis. Now, coming to the next one, uh, Kaposis sarcoma is, I have created this just next one. Ah, Bollinger bodies are seen in chicken pox, cow pox, fowl pox or small or small. So Bollinger body they are what inclusion bodies and what type of inclusion bodies intra cytoplasmic or intranuclear. It is what it is intra cytoplasmic type of inclusion bodies not intra. Bollinger bodies are seen which of the following? Following the bodies, they are foul pox. They are found there in foul pox. Okay, so they where are they are found? They are found in the foul pox. All right, and the two major examples that we need to remember: C M V and the mothers. They have both intra nuclear and intra cytoplasmic fusion bodies. Following virus is of pox family that is variola, coaxeki, ECHO, or HSV. So following virus is of pox family. What were the examples of the fox uh, this pox family that is vaccine, vaccine, variola, variola, para pox virus, para pox virus, and what is 
cordopox virus, cordopox virus, and pox virus. But we need to remember the vaccine virus and the variola pox virus. Now, coming to the next question, the smallpox. Smallpox belongs to which class of the pox virus? Parapox virus, Capripox virus, Leporipox virus, or Orthopox virus? So smallpox, smallpox actually have six subfamilies, six sex, six uh, subfamilies, and most important one is orthopox virus. Orthopox virus mainly contains consists of the virus that are mainly associated with the disease of the human, that is vaccinia and variola. Vaccinia and what? Variola. Apart from the orthopox virus. Apart from the orthopox virus, we have next subfamily that is the paropox virus, capripox virus, lopripox virus, avipox virus, and what is pox virus. Okay, so remember the one most important that is the orthopox virus that is having the vaccinia and the variola that is in what vaccinia and the <coughs> variola. So. <coughs> Which pox virus doesn't grow in the egg animal cell that is cowpox, vaccinia, variola or the molluscum? So easy one, which virus doesn't grow in the egg or the animal cell? It is Molluscum, Molluscum contagiosum that doesn't grow in egg or cell media. Okay, that is what Molluscum contagiosum, Molluscum contagiosum. Now coming to the next question. Uh, Smallpox eradication was successful due to all of the following except subclinical cases doesn't transfer, transfer the disease. Highly effective vaccine and infection provides a lifelong immunity and the cross infection occurs from the animal pox virus. So smallpox eradication was useful because the subclinical cases doesn't transfer the disease. This is true, and there was worldwide cooperation and highly effective vaccination against the smallpox. With once uh once the infection provides a lifelong immunity, but even if there is cross infection, so how the eradication is successful? If there is any disease with cross infection, there will be high chance of the disease transmission. All right. Now coming to the next one. Coming to the next one, which of the following is not a pox virus? That is the cowpox, molluscum contagiosum, smallpox, or the chickenpox.
इज इवन पॉक्स वायरस चिकन पॉक्स चिकन पॉक्स का दूसरा नाम क्या है चिकन पॉक्स इज नॉट वेरिसिला चिकन पॉक्स इज नॉट वेरिसिला जोस्ट वायरस दैट इज दैट इज द फॉर्म ऑफ हर is family that is the from the herpebridae family so it is not a pox virus it is not a pox virus other than there is a small pox the small pox that is the variola variola is what a pox virus so is the moluscum contagiosum and the cow pox now coming to the next question that adenovirus causes all except the hemocystitis diarrhea imn or the respiratory tract infection is even adenovirus it is what it is one point is that it is satellite shaped virus it is satellite shaped virus and and infectious mononucleases it is caused by the epstein barr virus that presented with more than 10% the atypical atypical lymphocytes atypical lymphocytes all right so it is not infectious mononucleases now Coming to the next question, pharyngo conjunctal fever is caused by all except uh, is uh, caused by the adenovirus, parent influenza, quaxeki, or all of the above. On the name itself, the patient is presenting what the patient is presenting what the pharyng uh, this pharyngoconjunctal fever syndrome. The patient presents with pharyngitis, pharyngitis with conjunctivitis with conjunctivitis and the fever and it is typically present in the patient in the CBT population with the adenovirus. With adenovirus, please remember adenovirus we what pharyngoconjunctival fever syndrome. Now coming to the next uh, coming to the next question. Virus causing the hemorrhage, cystitis, diarrhea, and the conjunctivitis, rhinovirus, adenorota, or the RSV, or the RSV. So we just read we just read the patient adenovirus causing what one is the pharyngoconjunctival fever apart from this hemorrhage cystitis diarrhea all these are seen in the all these are seen here in the adenovirus adenovirus all right conjunctivitis is typically seen where in the adenovirus so question mein agar aata hai conjunctivitis please uh, pay attention to that the option if there is adenovirus is given on now coming to the next slap slapped cheek sign is seen in the power virus b19 jc virus rota virus or the mumps So the slapped cheek sign is seen is sign, seen in the parvovirus B, and it is highly contagious. It is highly it is 
highly contagious and mainly found a big crash is the peak and mainly in childhood so it is mainly a childhood illness and the and the child present with the with the rash on the cheek that is and it is highly contagious with the contact and the respiratory secretion so that is the parovirus b19 with the slabbed cheek sign with the slabbed cheek sign now come to the next all of the following statements about powers 19 are true except it is a dna virus it causes the placenta in only less than 10 percent cases can cause the severe anemia and can cause the aplastic crisis So which of the following is not true? Which of the following is not true? It is a DNA virus. When we remember that from the mnemonic, DNA is happy. DNA is happy. Okay. So this one, the herpes, the one was the herpes and the DNA virus. A for adenovirus, B for parvo, pox, polyoma virus. That were they all were what? DNA virus. Okay. Pox virus. Okay. So they all were DNA viruses. And we just talked that it is highly, it is highly contagious virus, highly contagious uh, virus that is a parovirus B19 we are talking about and it causes the placenta between 33 to 51 percent that is highly contagious. So remember that it is highly infective and it does the uh, crosses the placenta in more than 10 percent cases that is up to 33 to 50 percentage. Can cause the severe anemia and the aplastic crisis. So, which is of the following is not true? That is, it crosses in less than 10%. It is only DNA virus. That is the single standard. Uh, how did we remember? The parvo, parvo virus is having R that is similar to that of the RNA virus. It is what single standard DNA virus. And transmission mainly occurs by the respiratory root, root and it is a erythroid progeny. Okay? Is primary replicates in the erythroid cells, progenitor cells, therefore causing the severe anemia and is found in a variety of the cells because progenitor cells are affected, the base stem cells are affected, therefore the further variety of the cells including the WBCs, endothelial placenta, all the cells will be uh, affected by the B19. It is mainly asymptomatic and main manifestation is what? Erythema infectiosa. Infectiosa that is also known as the fifth disease fifth disease or the slabbed cheek disease or the slabbed cheek disease thank you okay? so this is what the slabbed cheek disease arthropathy occurs in 50 percent of the adults and in malaria penitent plays a major role because it actually protects from the malaria that is p19 infections during pregnancy can lead to the high drops fetalis and the risk is up to 30 percent risk of therefore abortion is high that is up to nine percent and the risk of congenital infection is high as well now coming to the next question that is a uh, Parovirus infection associated with hydrospitalis, aplastic anemia, abortion, sixth disease, or hemophagocytic syndrome. So it is again more than one option. Correct.
तो कमिंग टू ऑप्शन पार वाइस इन्फेक्शन इज एसोसिएटेड विद पार वाइस इन्फेक्शन इज एसोड हाइड्रोस्फिटल यस अबॉर्शन यस बट इट इज फिफ्थ डिजीज इट इज fifth disease or the slab decreed disease and since it is affecting it is mainly affecting the it is mainly affecting the progenitor cells the progenitor cells erythroid progenitor cells therefore causing a severe anemia and a, a congenital transmission is high causing what the abortion aplastic anemia and the hydrosphetal is as well as since the progenitor cells are affecting that is uh, will attract the phagocytes causing the hemophagocytic syndrome phago तो पावर्स इन्फेक्शन व्हाट इज कॉमन बोन मैरो ऑब्वियसली नॉट ए प्लेजिया होगा तो हाइपरप्लेजिया बिकॉज़ ऑफ द सीवियर एनीमिया एरिथिमा इन्फेक्टियोसम इज अकरिंग बट मोर देन दैट आर्थ्रोपैथी इज प्रेजेंट आर्थ्रोपैथी अप टू 50% ऑफ द केसेस एंड मोर इन द देन दैट ऑफ द मेन देन दैट ऑफ द मेन Now, arthropathy occurs in fifty percent of the adults. The distribution of the joints mainly are the small joints, and resolution occurs within weeks. Now, come to next one. HV belongs to Papilloma virus, Parvo virus, Herpes, or the Pox virus. So, HV belongs to which family? So human papilloma virus will belongs to which family? That is the papilloma virus. Papilloma virus. That is again a virus. And what are the pneumonia for the DNA virus? That is DNA is happy. That is herpes, hepatitis, DNA, adeno, pox, papilloma. Okay. And what parvovirus? Now coming to the next question. Coming to the next question. progressive multifocal lico and cephalopathy is caused by the cmv ebv jc or rsv virus so progressive multicol leuco and cephalopathy is caused by nothing but jc virus that is john cunningham john cunningham virus that is nothing but human papilloma virus nothing but human papilloma virus now coming to the next one condyloma acuminatum is caused by hsv hpv hiv or v that we so condyloma uh, condyloma acuit was caused by the hpv and which hpv that is 6 and 11 that is what 6 and 11
now coming to the next one coming to the next one uh hp vaccine is monovalent bivalent or the quadrivalent or both bivalent and the quadrivalent <clears throat> So HV vaccine is what? Both we have the <coughs> <coughs> we have both bivalent and the quadrivalent that is the cervarix and the girder cell against the HPV, HPV 6 and 11 and the HPV 6, 11, 16 and what? 18. Okay. So we have both bivalent and the quadrivalent HPV vaccine. <coughs> <coughs> So recently developed HV vaccines reduces the rate of the infections and they are directed against virus types that causes the anogenic disease. Quadrivalent vaccine against the 6, 11, 16 and 18 and the bivalent against what? <coughs> 16 and 18. HPV type 6 and 11 causes 90% of the anogenital warts and 16 and 18 are responsible for the 70% of the cervical cancers. Now, which of the following which of the following statement is correct that viral warts usually resolve spontaneously plantar warts should not be excised and the callosities are formed okay, uh, occupationally cause are viral in etiology and the plantar warts are painless <coughs> Okay, so which of the following statement is correct? Which of the following statement is correct? That A, B and C, they are correct. We'll come to the each of the options one by one. That is, one is that viral warts are mainly caused by the HPV. Are caused by the HPV and they can be painful. They are usually, they are what? Painful. And the surgical removal, surgical removal is not approved as there are high chances of reoccurrence high chances of the reoccurrence all right so plantar walls are removed usually for the pain and the cosmetic purposes by the electrocautery and callocytes are hypercritic usually developed due to occupation they are what mainly they are what hypercritic cells and mainly developed due to the occupation now coming to the next one coming to the next option that is renal involvement is seen in which of the four infections C and V, polyoma, HP or HIV. So renal involvement is seen where in both C M V and the polyoma. Virus. The polyoma virus and polyoma virus is what is in the but a virus we see what renal disease renal disease that is what urinary tract infections we see now come to the next one most common serotype of the hpv causing the carcinoma of the service is 6 11 16 or 33 So most common serotype of HPV causing carcinoma service is what 16 more than that of 18. That's 16 and 18. 
Now 6 and 11, they are mainly associated with the genital cords. And 16 and 18 with the carcinoma. Now coming to the next one. Quadrivalent vaccine for the HV contains all except 7, 11, 16, 18 and 26. More than one option is correct. So it contains all the HP against but which against with uh, against not. We basically have quadrivalent vaccine and the bivalent vaccine. That is quadrivalent vaccine is what? Garda cell. Garda cell and the cervarix. Okay. That is against 6 and 11 and Gerda cell is mainly against 6, 11, 16 and 18. Okay. But not against 7 and 26. Now, coming to the next question. Coming to the next question. True about bacteriophage is it is a bacteria infecting bacteria. It helps in gain of new toxic genetic properties. Transfer only chromosomal genes and it helps in the transformation. Bacteria. Given? So, bacteriophage is nothing, it is a virus. This host kya hai bacteria. A virus that depends on the bacteria to complete its life cycle and uses the metabolism of the bacteria. Alright, and there is two types of cycle. One is dietic and another is, is the lysogenic cycle. So, we have kya transduction. Mein. So, it helps in the transduction of the bacteria, not transformation. Transformation. Okay. Taking the bacterial fragments directly, the DNA or the plasma fragments directly from the environment. But bacteriophage, it helps where it helps in the transduction. There through a defective packaging, it takes the chromosomal gene or the plasmid fragments from the bacteria. So it doesn't only transfer the chromosomal, but it also transfer the fragments of the plasmid. Yes, it helps in the gain of the toxigenic property because bacteria ko ek host banaya, it will next will go to the next bacteria and the daughter virions can go to the next bacteria taking the def, uh, chromosome through the defective packaging. We have read into the it this detail the horizontal transfer of the bacteria parata. This is a virus that is infecting what that is infecting the bacteria. Now coming to the next question. Lambda phage 2 is causes the mad cow disease. Lytic and lysogenic interconversion can't occur in lytic phage. DNA is incorporated within the host DNA multiply, causing the rupture of the cell membrane. And in the lysogenic phase, DNA is incorporated within host DNA and remains the dormant. So, what is true? We are talking about the bacteriophage. Now, so when we read about the bacteriophage, we read that lytic and the lysogenic cycle interconversion can occur. Interconversion can occur. Okay? So the lytic phase can uh, the lysogenic phase can go into the lytic phase. So interconversion was possible. So this is absolutely false. Lytic phase may what happened? Their mispackaging occurred and it directly took the bacterial DNA, but the DNA was not incorporated within the host DNA. It was in the lysogenic cycle that was leading to the lysogenic conversion. Lysogenic conversion of the bacteria. Just make kya hota tha? Bacteria phage apna, usne apna DNA fragment thoda and it got, it got combined with the bacterial DNA. Abhi dunu saath saath rehte hain. Jab, jab environment, the hostile environment, the bacteriophage DNA I need to get separated and then it gets separated and move into the lytic cycle. Okay. 
तो लाइट टिक एंड द लाइजोनिक साइकिल फेज रेप्लीकेट्स द साइटोप्लाज्म एंड लाइज द होस्ट वेक्टर इन द लाइट टिक साइकिल इन द लाइसोजेनिक डीएनए इज इनकॉपरेटेड विद द होस्ट डीएनए सो दैट लाइजोनिक फेज कैन बी रिलीज्ड फ्रॉम द होस्ट क्रोमोसोम इट माइट अपीयर कंफ्यूज राइट नाउ अगर आप इसको पहली बार पढ़ रहे हो तो therefore if you need your basics to be clear go to the genetics go to the bacterial genetics where we have discussed in detail and we have discussed lytic and lysogenic cycle in the detail because it is a long topic matlab it will take around 20 minutes that you understand completely from the basics if you don't that in so in that case just move to that class after this one okay now coming to the next question coming to the next question that is uh, all the following statements are true about the bacteriophage except it is a virus that infects bacteria it helps in the transduction of the bacteria it imparts the toxicity to the bacteria or it transfers on the chromosome gene so all the followings are true but which one is not true Sorry, in case the video was not clear, uh, I don't know my Wi-Fi is working well. Uh, in case there's problem, I'll just get it checked tomorrow. Well, apology for that. In चलो, so which of the following statement is not true? ठीक है, except पूछना. It is a virus that infects, which is true. It has a transduction, yes. It imparts toxicity, yes. And it or not only transfer the chromosomal genes, but also the plasmid genes. ठीक है, so it not only transfer the chromosomal genes. Now bacteriophage can transfer the chromosome as well as the plasmid. Plasmid-treated drugs resistance in Staphylococcus is an example of the important property that is transmitted by what the transduction. Yeah. Now, come to the next one. Come to the next question. Page typing is widely used for the intraspecial classification. In which of the following bacteria staff E. coli, Klebsiella, or Pseudomonas? Yes, we just now discussed the phage typing we use for the Staphylococcus and the serotyping typing of the Staphylococcus we do by the phage typing based on the suspectability. Based on the suspectability. Why? Because uh, the phage type that is the AT and AT1 is responsible for causing the hospi hospital outbreaks by the staphylococcus and therefore we do the phage typing for the staph okay the staph uh, phage typing is done by the pattern method it is of great importance staphylococcus infection and epidemic strains causes belongs to the at and the 81 okay so i guess we are done with the class now so please use my code that is can 10 to get the 10% of the discount and follow me on the unacademy app as well as unacademy channel so that uh, you don't miss the class and you get the notification for the thing. Uh, I'll see you in the next class. Thank you for the today's session. It was just question after base session that is because that is more effective than completely just reading other theories so that people what are the points that we need particularly 
covered. All right, press the bell icon and do download the notes on the telegram, like, share, subscribe. And thank you for today's session. See you tomorrow. And until then, uh, take care and just be safe and protect yourselves from the viral that is going on you from the malaria, everything because we are having a bunch of the disease around us. Protect yourself. All right.